Rakdos scam versus Moribus. Moribus. I would like to go first. <clears throat> and I will keep. Do I want to grieve on turn one? I don't think so. I'm going to go for a f tapped land. And then turn two, I have my Bowmasters at the ready. the turn. Hedge maze. So this could be... Hmm. If that is show and tell, am I already dead? And it looks like it could be show and tell. So, do I want to throw down the Bowmasters? Or play the Grief? I'm going to play the Grief. Okay, that was, hmm. yeah, oh man. <laughs> okay. Is there any point in taking the show and tell then? Or better the dig through time? Okay, now the opponent can go for the Masterminds acquisition. Oh no, the ah, okay, the attraction, yeah, of course. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, I can only deal four damage to the Atraxa, missing three, which I can't do either. Should I have griefed earlier? Maybe, but I mean, I s All right, let's go straight to game number two. What do I need? I need the Roiling Vortex. Blood Moon seems good. Inquisition is good. Uh, what about the extraction? Yeah, I'll take the extractions because I don't need. Don't need this. Don't need the bolts, right? Um, the not dead after all. Okay, I'll keep two and then install. Dead, get rid of the bowmasters, right? Or are they any useful? Like, is Liliana gonna? Wait a minute, molten collapse, destroy target creature. Yeah, I mean that can get rid of the. Um, all right, get rid of these two. Mm. Two reanimates, two not deads. Actually, I'll just take four reanimates then instead of this because it's a little bit more flexible. Uh, Fury. 
doesn't really do much, but I need some kind of kill, um, end game, right? Pissing needle is not helpful at all. Okay. Vortex. Um, should I just go for the Thoughtseize already? Why not? And that way we can see what we're up against already. Two Ley Lines, okay. Show and tell, and a lot of Veil of Summers. Okay, so a grief. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, let's grief. Take the Atraxa and reanimate that. Taking this uh, land, uh, this, and another Grief, maybe, or just a Ragavan now. All right, wow, that <laughs> that may turn things quite sideways here. Um, I can still lose to a turn three. Um. Show and tell. <clears throat> Let's attack first. All right, uh, taking a Grief, I mean, I know the opponent has Veil of Summer, so that's... Uh, <laughs> like the Fury doesn't really do much in this matchup, to be honest. I'm even going to put in a hearse instead because the hearse can at least kind of slow down the opponents from in the form of dig through time and the um the mystic sanctuary All right, I don't have any interaction here. I'm not going to play the grief into a potential brainstorm or like um, a veil of summer. I have the vortex as protection. At least that's something. Not much, but something. The opponent is keeping up constantly keeping up a blue green land so i need to be careful the opponent is aware of bowmasters and will not brainstorm yeah i can't do anything against the opponent taking my roiling vortex here Uh, 
Oh, taking the grave, okay. Uh, if I throw down the Bowmasters, the opponent is just going to um, brainstorm in response, so I don't want to do that. So I'm keeping up the Bowmasters. That's, I think that's quite important. Because the opponent may want to use brainstorm to find um, the puzzle pieces. Uh, do I want to drop the Roiling Vortex now to protect it from a potential, um, from a potential Thoughtseize next turn? I think I do. Then it will be at risk of getting Bezaju, though. But what's likely, more likely, I think. I think the opponent having Thoughtsies, the chances are higher than the opponent having a Bezaju. All right, is this going to be a Traxa, though? That's the question. I need to find Molten Collapse now. That's my only out here. Yeah, the opponent can also dig through time. So I need to find one of three Molten Collapses. Wow, that's even getting blanked. Molten Collapse, please! Oh, or that. <laughs> Something suspicious is going on. And for once, it's not. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal Two, four, space? five, six, seven, not enough. But, oh, wow, that was an amazing draw. So that was lucky, but um, yeah, I'll take it. So good start, Tim, against uh, Show and Tell, one of the top decks at the moment. Again, um, at, at least according to Untapped, it's back at the top of the win rate and stuff. So, um, but uh, yeah, able to deal with it with using crazy measures, stealing the Atraxa, um, Liliana's showing her value here. So yeah, great start. Let's go on to the next one. Recto Scam versus Ravishing Raisin. Opponent goes first. I will keep a little low on lands. I could use, I hope I draw into lands soon. Um, yeah, I'm going to bolt that immediately. It's just too. Uh, the surveil triggers are too valuable. 
Okay, this is um, Arcolite Phoenix. No, okay, it's not. What? There's an Atraxa in there? And it's already coming back. Okay, I need a land. I need a land. Urgently. It's my only option here. Okay, I can still use that land. And it's not there. So I will thought seize. Taking the opponent's thought seize, which will allow the opponent to play a fable, which is also nice. Okay, now the opponent will take my molten collapse, so that means the game is over, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that land was. And I mean, the. The start the opponent had was difficult to match. So the opponent is basically also playing Rakdos Scam, but added Dragon Rage Channelers and Faithless Looting and Baubles. All right. Well, that was super one-sided, but what do we need? More reanimates, more extractions, less blood moon. Uh, unlicensed hearse. Um, do I need an inquisition? I think one Inquisition could also help. One less Bolt. And one less Fury. One less Fable and one more Inquisition. Let's go for the hand. Take out all the reanimation spells. Again, only one land, but I'm going to take the risk. Going to go with the Ragavan, hoping that there's a chance where it can survive turn one. Okay. Putting a channeler in the way. Wow, again no land, but okay, let's go for the attack, sure.
Okay, a fury, very, very well. Reanimate. Come on, give us that reanimate. All right, reanimate and shield it. Perfect. The opponent can reanimate another. Uh, I can't take Shieldred, unfortunately. Well, let's just take the opponent's reanimate. Take the hits. Okay, the opponent is looting. Okay. Probably does want to discard the shield, right? Unless they draw into a reanimate. Okay, then I understand. If they don't. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, they're lucky they draw this through this thought seize because I would have reanimated that shield. Right? Obviously. Getting down something here, at least. All right. Okay, so I need a land. Let's do it. I think the opponent must have some three or four mana, mana spells in their hand here. Okay, fatal push is fine. And a bolt. Fine. All right. I am not finding that third land. Wow, this is this has been <laughs> nerve wrecking. Ah, oh, still no land. I can't believe it. Like, I would out Villiliana would have been so good here. And still no land. All right. I mean, I can just fury here with the not dead after all, but I mean, that feels. I'm gonna leave that in case the opponent plays something. Yeah. Take two. A bolt. Is that enough? I think it is. It is because I can do this. All right, go into full control mode. Just exile this. Resolve this. Deal Four to that. Also bolt it. And also do this. And now I can have everything resolved.
I could have attacked with this. The opponent would have probably not blocked. And I could have just bolted the face. I think that would have also been a play I should have probably done before. Now I'm giving the opponent a little bit of a window here. But I think we're there. Okay. Wow. That was at two lands even. Wow. Two lands only. Molten Collapses seems to be good. Liliana seems to be good. The Hearse is probably even too slow. Let's take the Crypt. Especially on the draw. Just drop that thing and keep it ready in case to block out any reanimate. So we're playing a kind of mirror, but the opponent has Faithless Looting and Atraxa, um, which which does make sense. It's an interesting addition to the deck. Mine is more of a traditional version of the Rakdos scam deck. Again with the one lander. But you know me. Doesn't like the top card, okay. All right, a Ragavan, that's fine. Bolt is better than, you know, playing my own Ragavan because playing my own Ragavan, the opponent... Oh, I could have furied with not dead after all, but okay. I'll do that now. Oh, no, I'm not. I will not do that now. And they took my land, right? No, they took a reanimate. Oh, wow, that's so bad. But they can only reanimate a Ragavan, which doesn't do anything. Perfect. That was close. Um. All right, I'll play my own Ragavan. 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 And I'm again stuck on one land here. Okay, so this time around, I am going to go into full control, exile this devil, the second Ragavan, resolve this, deal damage, four, do this, <clears throat> Fair enough. Oh, that's even going to hit the one in my hand. So this is... <laughs> oh, these, oh, these games are so... It's it's different to play in Timeless. Like, so f efficient spells, which do so much, like Surgical Extraction here for zero. It's just going to blank my whole Fury action, remove my hand. Look at our hands. Both hands are like devastated by now both people are, we're both at just one or two lands doing all this stuff it's quite crazy ah oh, again the ragavan oh man taking oh no 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 that's such a good inquisition of kozalek Taking the fable? T 
taking my Ragavan, okay. Yay, thank you! No, thank you not. I hope the opponent dashes in the Ragavan. I didn't play the Bowmasters because I know the opponent, if I play it, the opponent can still choose not to discard, which takes the whole value of the thing. Oh no. Yeah, let's, I have to throw down the Bowmasters and even ping this Goblin just so that it can't attack here. Now the opponent's going to take my Fable. If they do, then I can still kill their Fable with my Bolt. Mm -hmm. But the opponent has two more other unknown cards, which is much more nerve-inducing than anything else. But the opponent has drawn quite the Ragavans. Alright, here comes this. It still has Summoning Sickness, so my Lightning Bolt is still the option to deal with that thing. I'm going to double block this. Oh man, that was, yeah, that's a good grief. That was a good grief. So what am I... Now I'm out of options completely. And now the opponent can just copy the Grieve. Uh, which doesn't do much. Except deal... Yeah, it's going to deal me more damage. I get it. It's going to deal me 6 a turn. Even if I draw like a Liliana, it's not going to do anything anymore. I need to draw... Yeah, okay, goodbye. Yeah, good game. Good game. Okay, so that was pretty unpleasant, I have to admit. Um, I mean, not drawing those lands, that was just too much, I would say. I think I could have been more on the board earlier. But I think I still, especially in game two, um, was able to uh, to uh, hang in there quite a bit. So uh, proud of that. Um, yeah, as always, you can't win them all. So let's go on to the next one and see if we can at least win that one. Recto scam versus Golfinus. All right, this is the opposite of what I had in the last games. This is too much lands, but uh, turn one thought sees is what's going to be. Ooh, taking the Bowmasters. Taking the Bowmasters. Alright, Ragavan, you gotta do some stuff here. Like, it's important that you survive this turn. Like, super important. And hit something good next turn. Alright, going for the ring. Ah, oh, no, I should have... Yeah, I could have expected that, of course. I saw the ritual. Yeah, okay, very well. Mm. 
I think I should learn how to. I think I sh need to learn how to mulligan or just to mulligan. All right, demonic tutor in to kill something, right? Kill the dragoman. And I'm at 13. The opponent's at 18 and has a ring. And there's the bow. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's not really gonna make a huge... <laughs> Drawing more bow masters, and I'm just drawing one per turn. All right, grief. Well, at least something that's hope somewhat useful. All right, not dead after all, and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. Okay, so the opponent is also running. It's again. No, this is is this is mono black. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get in reanimates and surgical extractions. Get l rid of these two. Get rid of these two. Uh, get rid of the blood moon and add. A crypt, so it's a little similar to what I did last game. I think that's fine. Inquisition, hmm, but I think I have enough to give the opponent uh, a little bit of a hard time. No. I did mulligan there, didn't I? All right. Okay. I'm going to put back the fury. Let's start off with the Ragavan. Soul and a Shieldred. Uh, do I want to play the Liliana here? I don't think so, because I'm I don't there's nothing I want to discard here. So I'm just gonna keep up the bowmasters. I'd prefer to use the Liliana to minus and use it as an edict effect.
Or I'm just going to not do anything and just attack again. Do I want to play not dead after all just to save a Ragavan? I think I might do, but yeah, okay. And pass the turn. Now what does the what's the opponent okay the opponent's gonna take my Liliana probably or the Molt Collapse. I have three decent cards here, but the opponent has four cards in hand. The mo uh, good that I have Molten Collapse and Liliana, but the okay the Liliana is not as good with the token on the board. Okay, I know, I, I can tell it seems to be a difficult decision for the opponent, which is understandable because Molten Collapse, okay, is also good. All right, okay, now that's going to take the Molten Collapse, I get it, I see, okay, okay, okay. What can we do now? Yeah, now it's going to, yeah, of course, take the Molten Collapse. The thing is, the opponent is probably going to have to take, block the Ragavan here. Probably jump blocking, yeah. I could reanimate some Bowmasters, but... Don't really see the need to do that yet. What's that going to be? A Shieldred? If it's a Shieldred, I really would love to just draw a Molten Collapse next. If I draw Molten Collapse, this is over. This game is won. A Bolt is not sufficient it is it is because now i can just reanimate the opponent that Let's just chump block that thing. Uh, nine minus four is five, which is out of bolt range. Plus the opponent doesn't have bolts. Let's bluff with this final land in our hand. All right, four, five, six, putting me at two. Opponent at seven minus four. That's too much. 
Maybe I should have attacked with. Opponent can't reanimate that thing for sure. All right, I have to hold back, unfortunately. And I have to block the grief. Oh, I can't. Oopsies. Well, then that's G G. <laughs> yeah, okay. I sh probably shouldn't have attacked with the shield with the turn before. But grief has menace, so I could I wouldn't have been able to block it anyway. And probably I shouldn't have triple blocked the turn before that. That was probably my mistake. But it, I felt so suspicious and I, I didn't want my children to get hurt. Not my children, actually. Um, but yeah, I think that I should have done. Okay, anyway. On to the next game. We go. Rakdos Scam versus MTG 7570ZA. I do need to draw into something that I can use these things on. Faithless looting. Oh, is this Rakdos scam again? Like, okay, no, it's Phoenix. All right. Arclight Phoenix. <laughs> but yeah, Rakdos seems to be strong at the moment. Okay, interesting. Nice try. Ah, I see. I see. All right, finally it is my turn. A reanimate. I can bolt and reanimate one of the phoenixes to have a, to have it under my control. Let's do that. And this is going to put it under its owner's control. So that doesn't do anything for me at the moment. So I'm just going to trade. Yeah, these have to trade. Okay. Even better for me. Right? What, what happened here just now? I'm a little confused. Um, yeah, I'll loot free, basically. Get rid of a back this and this. And pass the turn. So this Ragavan has been doing some, doing his homework.
Okay, so able to steal the Arclight Phoenix. What? So what is this now? This is re a mixture of reanimate Phoenix, faithless looting, probably throwing an Atraxa in there. So let's again go higher on these similar um, sideboarding strategy. Tormod's Crypt. Don't need the hearse. Can get one hearse if I want to. Uh, and on the draw, I can go down on the Ragavan. The Ragavan is usually best on when I'm on the play. Even though in this instance it was on the draw, but still. Um, oh, this seems pretty, pretty good. I mean, the hearse is a little bit overkill here now, but that's fine. Could have been a Ragavan. But this is good. All right, let's take the opponent's Thoughtseize. Why? I could take the Buried and Dead. But um, with this, I don't want the opponent to take my Surgical Extraction. That is just going to wreck the opponent here for sure. Okay, going to gamble for what? Strike a crit is interesting. Gamble for a gamble? What? Okay. Here comes this. Resolve. And now, before combat, things are going to go south for the opponent. <laughs> and that's why I don't like playing um, Phoenix because everybody and their mother is running surgical extraction in the sideboard at the moment and that one card which is free just denies your complete deck as you can see here the opponent has nothing left to nothing no cards in hand Probably let, oh, I can even see the library. So, no other creatures. So, it's full on. Oh, no, there's two griefs. Okay. But, yeah, there was no chance the opponent could win this after this surgical extraction resolves. So, all right. Um, oh, that's been fun today. I'm going 2-2. Two, two. A little unfortunate. I, I wish I could have gone 3-2, but 3-1, uh, uh, but 2-2 two, two is fine. A lot of Rakdos matches here today. Um, different types of Rakdos though, so there is flexibility. Uh, what do I feel about this deck? I think it's a good option at the moment for sure. Reanimate is good at the moment because everybody's running reanimate or reanimating stuff, so the fact that you can reanimate the opponent's stuff is a huge factor uh, here. Uh, you have the incredible turn one Fury or mainly Grief, not Fury, because Fury on turn one doesn't really do much. But Grief on turn one plus Reanimate or the uh, Not Dead after all is just, uh, it's one of the best things you can do. You have Thoughtseize, you have the Ragavan, which is a powerhouse, early game powerhouse. Um, so yeah. Uh, definitely a viable choice in the current meta and fun to play. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the arena. Most importantly, have fun.